good morning and welcome back to my channel. My name is Kerry. How is everybody? I hope you're having a lovely week so far. Today's video is Meals of the Week. It is last week's meals. Friday, I didn't film because I think I've just forgot. No, I didn't eat anything. I didn't have anything for tea. And then later on, I don't know why, it just wasn't hungry. And then later on, I just had some couscous out of a bowl um, later. That was all. And then Saturday, I was like scrabbling around in the um, pantry looking for something to eat and I just completely forgot. I just like cobbled together different things <laughs> that we had in the in the uh, cupboards. But yes, so we've got all the other days, so there's five meals there and I'll show you those now. Stee and I are having ramen noodle soup for tea tonight. The children have had curry flavour noodles. It's just having a super, super easy tea. They don't like this or I would give it to them. I have tried giving them a um, non-spicy version and they weren't keen on it either. But I will try again. Um, I just made my own noodle broth with some onions, garlic paste, ginger paste, some miso paste and some of this um, gochujang hot pepper paste. This big one is from Costco but you can get them from Tesco's and normal supermarket as well. And I put in some soy sauce and some of my uh, Maggi um, seasoning. You can, can just use soy sauce and maybe a little sugar sometimes. It's nice to sweeten it up. I haven't added any extra chilies because I've put that in, uh, quite a lot of that in. I put a teaspoon of tomato paste in it and then I've just in a pan next to my noodle pan. Oh, sorry, and vegetable stock, but you could use chicken stock if you wanted to as well. And then next to my noodle pan, uh, uh, next to my like this big broth one, I just had a little frying pan and I just cooked some um, broccoli, carrots, uh, mushrooms and greens in there just to top it and then some sesame seeds and spring onions on top and it tastes really good I can't wait to eat it this evening Steve and I are having well tortelloni soup it's my tortelloni soup recipe which I'll link below but with a uh, tiny forties raviolis and we've got some um, baked bread this is like the the bake at home bread this is a French sourdough um, just from Costco. The children ate earlier so we can get them bathed and everything and ready because it's back to school tomorrow. Um, they had chicken dippers, some uh, potato, crispy ball things and spaghetti. Literally super easy tea because they were playing and I just wanted them to enjoy their last day of school and um, at school home before they go back to school. So this is mine and Steve's tea. Children are still up. They're just watching a film. We're going to eat this because it wasn't quite ready. And then um, I am going to take them to bed and read them a lovely story. Steve and I are having a very, very quick curry for tea. The children had homemade pizzas. Well, home assembled pizzas. Pizza base, pizza sauce with mozzarella on top. Um, Ferreras and with ham for Isaac. And um, as soon as they came in from school, the first day back for us. So they were starving. So we are having these lovely curries that I've just whipped up really quickly. It is chickpea, spinach and mushroom. I um, heated a little ghee, put in some cumin seeds and some onion and then some garlic and ginger. And I used turmeric, chilli powder, ground coriander, garam masala and then some mushrooms, some chickpeas and some spinach with a tin of blended tomatoes. I blended them up to make it smooth. A little salt and some extra water and then just cooked it until it was all nicely cooked and added some basmati rice. Oh. There we go. Looks really tasty, actually. It looks really good, doesn't it? So we're going to go and sit and eat that and watch something on the TV together. We're having lentil spaghetti bolognese today. I've made it with poi lentils. Um, and it's lovely and thick today. I don't know how it's turned out this thick. I've done it differently. Normally I use red lentils. So maybe that's the trick. And um, yeah, that's about it really with spaghetti and garlic bread, which is the part baked garlic bread or baker home garlic bread that I've added some um, softened butter that I mixed with minced garlic to to make our own. We're having a, it's a miserable day, so this will go down a treat. Today we are having sausage and mash. I've got a pesto mozzarella and vegetable bake instead, but that just pops in the oven. So it's dead easy to do. Um, I'm shattered, absolutely shattered. I felt like I dreamt all night. It was probably just for five minutes, but it felt like hours and hours and I've just woken up exhausted. So this is all I could be bothered to do today. So nice and easy, lots of veg for the children still though. And hopefully it should fill them up, fill their tummies up, ready for bed later on. And there we go. That is last week's meals. I am ready for cozy autumnal meals. Um, I'm, I'm just, 
ready for them. So hopefully we'll have some more of those this week. I'm making a um, like a veggie meat free Irish stew today. So hopefully that'll go down well. It's windy and it's raining. Even though the sun's coming in the window at the moment, making my hair look a funny colour. <laughs> it's it's um it's uh still a bit grey and I just love all of the comfort food. So hopefully the children will enjoy it as well and we'll have some nice meals coming up for this week too. But for now that's all and I hope you all enjoy the rest of your week and I'll see you in the next one. Bye. Music